in the race for King County Sheriff. Take a look at the latest numbers. Challenger Mitzi Johagnik extended her lead over incumbent Sheriff John Urquhart. She now has 53% of the vote, leading by more than 15,000 votes. And Major Johagnik joins us now live in the King 5 studio to talk more about this race. Major, thanks for being here today. What was your reaction to the results last night and then the widening of your lead this afternoon? Well, last night we thought we'd kind of be close and in the running, but when the ballots dropped and we were ahead by almost four points, it was really, really exciting, I have to tell you. And then today, as more votes have come in, the widening uh, is just amazing. When you started this race, did you have any idea it would turn out like this? I guess there's always a hope that, that something like that would happen when you engage um, and do something different, um, but uh, it's... Um, it's beyond my expectations right now. If you become sheriff, what will be your first priority? One of the first priorities is healing the sheriff's office on the inside, uh, making sure that the office of sheriff itself is held accountable to the people, and then beyond that, working with the communities to do great community outreach and connections so that we can reimagine law enforcement into the future. I'm imagining that some pretty deep lines have been drawn within the department between the people who support you and the people who su support Sheriff John Urquhart. What's that been like navigating on just a daily basis? Well, you know, for good reason, we have great policy around that, which is to it's not ethical to discuss the race in while we're doing business. Mm -hmm. And so as I've done business, I've been very careful to make sure that my second job, as I called it, didn't affect the first. Mm -hmm. So how would you describe the mood right now in the department? Because we, we're not privy to any of right. that. Uh, I've had a lot of people texting me and messaging me and, and thanking me for running. I think collectively there's just been a big sigh of relief within the organization. As you know, if, if things continue and if you take over as sheriff, um, what would you say to the people you're going to be representing in terms of you know, what, what things are they calling for change when it comes to the King County Sheriff's Office? Um, first of all, I'd thank everybody for electing me. But more importantly, making sure that they know that um, they can hold me accountable, that I in turn will make sure that we do the right things in the sheriff's office and hold everyone accountable to the same standards. And then that they can count on me to make sure that we're bridging that gap of that's the, that's the part that's lacking in law enforcement right now and making sure that there's good connection, that we're doing the right things about less lethal options, training for de-escalation and those kinds of things. All right. Thank you so much for joining us, Major Mitzi Johagnett. Thank you. Thank Good you. luck.